What's up, everybody? It's Jonathan, Active Day Trader. Today, we're going to be talking about futures, specifically setting up futures in Thinkorswim. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. I'm happy to put out more videos like this, helping with the Thinkorswim platform. So in front of you, I just went to charts. I'm looking at S&P futures. Now you can see I want everything super clean. Been trading for 18 years. The last thing I want is a lot of lines on my chart. If you like looking at things relative to other instruments like I do, the way that I do that is click the beaker here, scroll down, comparison, add selected, and now we can compare the S&Ps to the 10 year future contract. Okay, apply, okay. And we look at it like that, where the S&P is gonna be this yellow and the 10 year is gonna be the pink. If we wanted to look at contracts that are more correlated, we can look at the 30 year against the 10 year. When I'm looking for different futures to trade, I like to just go to this carrot, go to the futures, and then it's got all the drop down right here. You can see anything you want to do an analysis against. So if I want to analyze the ZN futures against, let's say the VIX, it looks like that. But you can probably see that these aren't very correlated, right? In fact, they seem to have a reverse correlation. What I like to do in that circumstance, again, go to your beaker. And if you're looking at ZN, what about if you flip the ZN around? Just put a minus sign. That's going to invert it. So instead of looking at it as being negative correlated, you might see it as being positively correlated. You could really see that if I take out the 10 year and I put in the S&P. So S&P against the VIX will have a negative correlation, but if you invert one of them, it'll have a positive correlation. I like to do this because it really, really shows when correlations are breaking down. That's one way of comparing things. The other way you can compare two instruments, you could just go ZN minus ZB and create it as one line. What we do when you're trading bond futures, if you're going to be trading the 10 year against the 30 year, the proper ratio is not one to one. The proper ratio is actually going to be three to one. The way that you do that with a ratio is just go forward slash ZN times three minus ZB. And whenever I'm doing this, I like to look at things from a line. I just personally think it presents better. And what this is showing, this is notes over bonds, or we call this the knob. The 10 year times three minus ZB, it's the difference between the 10 year yield and the 30 year yield. And you can see over time, it's getting lower and lower and lower and lower. That's also called flattening. What you're witnessing here is the difference between the 10 year yield and the 30 year yield are getting closer and closer and closer together. Quick little tutorial, helping you trade futures, helping you look at relative value. If you haven't yet taken up your opportunity to try a free week of active day trader service, in the description below, I'll leave a link. Click on the link, try a free week, no credit card required, see if it works for you. Thanks, Jonathan, I'll see you on the inside.